right ladies and gentlemen so from last 40 45 days in some area of your life you have been feeling a deep sense of deprivation a sense of hopelessness and a sense of wanting to do something but your efforts are not getting rewarded and now you are wondering what should I do should I stay there or should I go back or should I go to some new zone which I never explored right that's the situation of Mars which is currently in Gandanta zone it is in the first degree of Leo all right so the houses which Mars rules in your chart depending on your ascendant will undergo these kind of uh, these kind of flavors okay and of course Mars had been in cancer in debility for a long time and that is why the sense of hopelessness could have come upon you from last 40 45 days but the good news is now it is over it is going to go into Leo in fact it is already in Leo but as you know that the last degrees of a water sign and the first degrees of a fire sign is known as Gandanta all right so what is Gandanta and what is Mars and what Mars will do in Leo what are the things we should take care of to do or not to do so these are the things that we will try to discuss today in short okay and as usual if you are new then please uh, subscribe to the channel and if you like this video click the thumbs up at the end and watch my other videos and if you want a consultation from me regarding what this transit of Mars could do in your chart or any other area of your life you could always go down to the description section of my videos below to book a personal reading with me one to one okay and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and uh, you will find him even when mars crosses the gandanta zone okay so mars has just entered leo and it is hovering around in the gandanta zone so gandanta means there is a knot which will untie okay so this means that the houses which mars rules in your chart you might have felt because mars wa was in debility in cancer okay so whenever a planet gets debilitated in transit for those days we become very less aware or at times we can become hopeless regarding those those houses okay hopeless means we might think that i do not have any future in regards to these houses okay so suppose mars was your uh, mars is your 10th lord you would have felt the same way for career okay even if you would have got opportunities but you would have still felt that maybe i am i should change my career or something like this so now mars is in gandanta zone so gandanta means that see gandanta is the last degree of a water sign which means something is ending and the beginning degree of a fire sign which means something new is starting okay so this means the houses which mars rules in your chart they will undergo a new beginning now now you can see from the beginning the areas which you want to conquer because mars is the soldier he is the commander in chief he wants to win territories and depending on the houses which mars rules in your chart depending on your ascendant you will now get a increasingly overwhelming feeling and you will feel that suddenly so many new things have started happening okay you will start feeling that and especially towards the end of this month you will start feeling it more so now is the time that you can put your practical ideas into implementation regarding the houses which mars rules and the only word of caution that we should learn from this transit is that there are there are situations when we want things overnight or there are situations in life when we feel that if we just spend money recklessly here there in 10 different things maybe that makes us happy or maybe just going on enjoying with somebody or members of the opposite sex will give us pleasure that's what the mind tells us or that is how the mind cheats us sometimes all right so 
when Mars enters Leo because it's a fire sign it's a great placement for initiating new stuff and getting the projects done at the same time we have to realize that everything is not in our control because sometimes when Mars enters Leo the person can think that whatever he is doing is right all right it's like my way or the highway if you don't fall in my line they say either fall in line or fall away <laughs> okay but the problem is everybody is facing this transit all right so you try to do something the other person will also behave like this so this essentially means that now is the time where we can check our leadership capabilities capacities and recently I saw somebody had shared a photo in Facebook that's a very misleading post what was written in the post there was a lady who shared the post it was written there was a photo which had a message the name of the message was that don't call me bossy I'm not bossy I have leadership skills yes I'm not bossy I have leadership skills so this is a big 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 blunder and a big misrepresentation of leadership all right going around bossing people only shows your inner weakness okay now leadership means that you take responsibility from your side you should be the first one who should act when there is a problem in your society or in your zone in your area or in your circle that's what <clears throat> Is the meaning of a leader leader is not one who goes around bossing people oh you should be like this you should be like that no that's not how a leader is so if you want to know who is a real leader the best book to study is Ramayana so Ramayana teaches us so many valuable lessons one of the most valuable lessons that he teaches us of how to be a good leader and we can take many examples of Lord Ram and Sugriv and so many other people but let's talk of Hanuman so Hanumanji he is an exceptional character in the Ramayana. So what does Hanumanji do? If you read the Ramayana, when the army of the Vanaras headed by Angad and Jambavan and Hanumanji, they come to know that Sita Devi is on the other side. They decide that somebody has to go now somebody has to go from this part crossing the ocean towards Lanka and they are discussing who should do what who should not do what so then all the different monkeys they start giving different uh, calculations so there's one monkey who said oh I can jump 80 yojanas you know 100 yojanas it was the distance some said I can join jump 90 some said Angad said I can jump 100 but the problem is I cannot come back <laughs> and then Jambavan he said that oh actually now I am old but when I was young you know when Vaman Dev came to take three steps of land from Bali Maharaj then I could circumambulate him 21 times within one moment which is one twelfth of a second oh my god that's a big statement he was so powerful but now he's very old and he doesn't have energy to jump you see and then Jambavan looks towards Hanuman and he says Hanuman for you this hundred yojanas is nothing you can just get over it <laughs> so you should be the one who should go and of course Hanumanji was uh, blessed or cursed by the rishis that because of his pranks which he would play in the childhood that he would not remember some of the uh, some most of the strengths that he had and that is why he forgot that he had all the supernatural powers which Brahmaji, Indra, Varuna, Yamaraj and all these great souls the demigods had blessed him with okay but now the curse also had a cure that uh, when time comes a guru will remind Hanuman and now Jambavan did that task and the moment Hanumanji came to know about it he just said Jai Shri Ram and he jumped he leapt off so the thing is Hanumanji was extraordinarily powerful but he was never bossy he was never 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 
trying to impose his own ideals onto somebody okay so this is the biggest lesson that we have to learn because bossing uh, bossing around others that is a symptom of tamaguna actually okay leadership is in rajas and sattva but going around dominating others that is in tamaguna okay that we do because we are not convinced about ourselves that we are good people all right that is why we go around doing that a leader doesn't have to be bossy of course he might have to be forceful at times that's different but when you say bossy that has a different uh, context itself all right so now is the time that uh, we can check ourselves okay how much patience do we have can we tolerate if somebody doesn't approve what we say okay and these things can be more prominent or prevalent in your work space now okay in your career front okay or in your society where people are opposing you at times so this is a very good time to introspect and to see the values and the things that i stand for all right do everybody need to stand for those things well maybe yes no what if they don't stand can i stand them if somebody does not stand by my values all right and these are some of the great lessons which mars can teach us in leo because in leo mars can think that i have the power of the king and i don't need anybody now because the king rules the sign leo the sun yes so when mars enters he feels that now all the land is mine so there's nothing wrong in being a great leader in fact that's what the scriptures say that everybody should be a leader and take responsibility of their spiritual life but it is not very good to go around uh, bossing people and <laughs> behaving in ways which uh, make you feel that you are very empowered you are somebody special yes that's not how a leader behaves okay in fact ravana was perfectly that kind of a leader in fact the ramayan says uh, when the war was taking place between lord ram and ravan then what lord ram used to do he used to personally go and burn the bodies of the vanaras okay every vanara he would personally go to uh, burn their bodies after they died uh, to show his gratitude towards the vanaras that you have given your life for me now i have personally come to uh, assist you in your final journey as they say antim sanskar but ravan this foolish person what he used to do he thought that if the monkey army saw that oh so many bodies are uh, been burned then they will become very 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 confident that look look we have killed so many vanars okay uh, sorry not vanars i mean the rakshasas the demons and that is why ravan uh, told his uh, commander in chief that no body should be burnt throw all the dead bodies to the ocean let us see that is how he has dealt with his subordinates those people who had laid down their lives for him this is how he has behaved yes and of course he also met his dead end very soon nonetheless but the point is we need to identify who we identify with okay so we can be leaders like lord ram yes or hanuman ji or we can be like jambavan or we can be like sugreev or we could also be like bali <laughs> all right so bali is on the other side he's ravan's best friend you know birds of the same feather always uh, together <laughs> okay abducting the wife of his brother sugreev yes the same business both of them had the same business wherever they used to see a lady they used to just pick up they used to feel that all the ladies in this world they are like a supermarket okay i like this lady she is mine she doesn't agree okay i will force her to submit to me and that's what ravan did with so many ladies okay and of course vedvati had cursed him and he finally justice was served to him of course that everybody knows but the point here is we may have resources but that doesn't mean that we have the power to go and uh, 
do whatever we want wherever we want with whomever we want okay so let us be in our limits and execute all our plans and set an example for others so that whenever somebody sees us they say yes i want to be a leader but like this person okay or uh, they may say i want to be a leader but not like this person all right so it is up to us what we do so that people can uh, take our examples and then by that they can uh, get inspiration okay so this is what mars wants to teach us and just put an eye on the houses which mars rules and that is how you will see how these results manifest okay there you go if you are new then uh, subscribe to the channel and if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit for your personal life you could always go down to the description section where you will find the link to my videos okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him